Hello everyone, I'm Hanan Saleh, Professor of Histology and Cell Biology. The title of my project is Applying Structured Mark Schemes for Short Essay Assessment. I believe that fairness among students is an important pillar for the success of any educational process. And this was the, the drive behind the, the, the project I chose. And as basic as it sounds, sometimes it's not easily and efficiently implemented or carried out really. Um, my project was aimed uh, to involve the first year medical students. The plan was to examine them during the locomotor module and that was in April um, using a formative exam and then to mark the exam with the help of uh, my team um, the chosen um, uh, staff members that will be uh, uh, marking the, the exam through two ways. This was uh, to happen through two ways, the regular way uh, that we are using currently and through a well-defined structured, structured mark scheme. And then to compare both methods. But like just the rest of the whole world, everything suddenly stopped because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, the short essay questions were not to be used, of course, to prevent handling of paper and spread of infection, in addition to the stay home um, rule. So um, trying to solve this problem and uh, to stay uh, with the objective of my project, uh, I started planning for examining postgraduate students using online platforms. And these would include the demonstrators and assistant lecturers in the histology department. Um, they kindly agreed on taking the formative exam, but due to many different reasons, ranging from being sick to psychological stress to whatever, uh, they asked me to postpone the exam to be in September, uh, to be more suitable for everyone, and especially for them to have a maximum benefit of studying as well. So um, this is the Gantt chart with my initial expectations. Um, and it's really amazing how you plan and think and plan and suddenly with all the caution that has been taken, uh, something just comes up and changes everything. So um, those marked by the, um, with, with the mark, with the correct mark, uh, I have finished these. Uh, forming the team, convincing the staff members. Um, we made um, orientation and practiced on some questions, how we can reach a consensus to the, uh, the, the mark scheme itself. Uh, the questionnaire, the IRB approval was also um, uh, accomplished and constructing the exam, we have already constructed an exam and a mark scheme for the first year, of course, medical students, but it was not um, used. So another one uh, was formed for the postgraduates. Um, and then remains the execution of the exam itself. So examining the students, the marking and the analysis of the data, this still remains to be, uh, to, to happen or to be um, uh, accomplished in the coming month. And hopefully uh, during September and October, I'll be able to finish it and be ready with the poster preparation in November. I hope so. Um, so the lessons learned from this is that one must adapt quickly and deal with the challenges as they arise. Um, we shouldn't waste time, try to find a solution. And as said by Helen Keller, a uh, bend in the road is not the end of the road unless you fail to make that right turn, correct turn. Uh, another important point, uh, it's not that I've learned it, I already know it, but it just appears, you know, when there is stress. Uh, having good relations with people and using the affiliative leadership, and that's the new term I learned during FAMER, the affiliative leadership, it always really pays off when in times of need, uh, because I believe that people are the greatest assets ever. Okay, and thank you very much for your kind listening.